All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let me know how the audio is once we start playing, because the audio is really important in this game. It should be loud enough to hear. Shouldn't overpower me, but it should be more than crystal clear. All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot. Welcome to Gris, this one indie game of the year 2019. I have played through it already. It's a really, really good game. It's short. We're probably going to beat it all in one session, probably going to upload it all in one go. Uh, not only have I beaten this game before, I've actually gotten the platinum trophy on it, as you can see. Um, there's a couple extra side things you have to collect and go out of your way to get when you get the platinum. I'm not going to be doing those things in this playthrough because I already have them, and they kind of slow the game down a lot for me. And I think this game is going to have, a, like, the story in this game is going to be told much better if I'm not fumbling around making sure I didn't miss anything the whole time. So I will go past stuff. I've already gotten the plat. There are guys out there to help you if you want a guide for the platinum. This is not it. This is a casual playthrough to show off this really amazing, really pretty game. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, are you sure you want to start a new game and erase the current progress? Uh, you know what? Yeah. Unless I could just continue from chapter one. Uh oh, I fucked it up. Is this a new game plus? Can I new game plus this? That'd be dope. Oh no, this is chapter slick. All right, it's like, uh,. Nah, fuck that. We're just going back to the beginning. Alright, new game. Here we go. Welcome to Gris, everybody. Y'all hear this okay? By the way, we are not running a cam for this, if you can't tell already. Uh, this game has very pretty visuals, and my face and my reaction adds nothing to anything. And it just looks so much better with a clean, if you just get a clean shot of everything. But yeah, soundtrack's beautiful, visual's beautiful. Uh, for what it is, gameplay is actually really solid. But you guys will see more on the gameplay here in a second. This is a 2D platformer. I was going to say ask, but it really is just a 2D platformer. I had to push a button there. Or I had to move the L stick. She doesn't actually get up on her own. Okay. So, once again, I'm not... There are a bunch of... Not a bunch. There's a few collectibles and extras hanging around in this game. There's also some bonus stuff you can do uh, to get trophies and stuff. But like I said, I already have all those trophies. And looking at the guide... The first time I played through this game, I got the platinum on one playthrough because you can do that. But I had a guide pulled up to the side. And I was pausing every few seconds to look at it, every few minutes to look at it, make sure I didn't miss anything. And it didn't ruin it for me. I still got to see how great this game was, but it did slow it down a lot when it didn't need to be. So I would say if you're going to play this game on your own, which I highly recommend, by the way, um, don't go for the platinum on your first run. Don't try to go to the achievements on your first run. Do a second playthrough with a guide pulled up. It's definitely worth it. Oh, 
Okay. I don't know much other than Gris is supposed... Well, I mean, I do know a lot. I've played through the whole game. But at this point, I don't know much other than... Apparently, Gris is German, I think? For... I don't know if Zorox around. For Gray? So that's all that is. But yeah, you're going to see some very pretty, very unique art. Especially for a video game here. Um, as you can see, we got these pointy little arms and stick legs. Chris does mean gray in German. I, I got confirmation for Twitch chat. I am live streaming this on Twitch. Uh, I'm treating it more like playthrough-esque. Because I know it's one run-through. I'm actually doing this for my subathon. Oh, this is a great time to point this out. While I have y'all on YouTube. Um, I live stream everything. And the live stream gets ripped and uploaded to YouTube. And if you guys are watching on YouTube, I still appreciate the fuck out of you. It's why we started uploading videos again. Again, big shout-outs to Drip. Thank Drip. A boatload. For, uh editing everything and putting it together and making the thumbnails and all that shit because the LP channel would not happen if I had to do that stuff. If I had to title and upload and tag everything, it would not be getting done. That's why I hadn't been getting done until Drip came along. Uh, but on top of that... Ooh, what is this? Hold up. Yeah, this game is pretty. But if you're on YouTube and you can't make the stream, make it out to the streams, that's fine. I'm glad y'all are getting your content, you know, at least somewhere. Uh, but if you want to support in any way, shape, or form, uh, monetary-wise, the link to my stream, twitch.tv slash thundershot, there's no 6 9 in it anymore. It's just twitch.tv slash thundershot um, on Twitch. If you want to support in any way, you can go over to Twitch and make an account if you don't have one. It just takes a couple minutes. And you could click that subscribe button, and five bucks a month uh, helps me a lot. It means a lot to me. Oof, what do I do here? Can I? Do I go up? Oh yeah, all right. It just takes me, man. They'll fuck you up like that. Five bucks a month means a lot to me. Uh, you know, if you want, obviously you don't have to. Watch it on YouTube is more than enough. Watching anything I do is more than enough. Um, They want me to make a bridge, but the third piece to it's back that way, so I gotta go grab it. But yeah, it's it's in the description. Twitch.tv slash Thundershot. Click over there, make an account, and then you just click the subscribe button, and it'll say $5 or whatever. Or, if you have Amazon Prime, you or your parents or whoever have Amazon Prime, you can link the Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, since Amazon owns Twitch. It's not like a scam or anything. Amazon owns Twitch. And you can actually subscribe for free. God, what is that? Is that a Stingray? You can actually subscribe for subscribe for free with Prime. You just have to come back every month and update it. It's the only thing. Uh, but yeah, if anyone's watching on YouTube and you're like, T-Shot, thanks for uploading to YouTube, but, you know, I can't make it out to Twitch streams, but you still want to support, uh, the way I get support on Twitch streams is people coming over and hitting the sub button. All right, see, I already missed something. There's a collectible back to my left, but again, I'm not worried about collectibles because if you get too hung up on collectibles, Especially when I was looking at a guide the first time, man. It just kind of... I feel like this game has a certain flow. And trying to collect a -thon everything on the first go fucked up the flow for me a little bit. Which is why I'm really excited to be doing this playthrough now. Because my flow won't be fucked... You know, my flow won't be fucked up. We did experience the story on the plat hunt. It was just... It wasn't as smooth as it could have been. Because I was constantly stopping and looking, you know? So what has happened in the game so far, as far as we're aware? Uh, Gris, which is the girl I'm guessing, or maybe not, I don't know. I'm going to call her Gris, even if that's not her name. Was inside a hand, much like this one. And it crumbled and fell, and she fell a very long way. She landed down, and all I know aside from that is that she has looked pretty sad this whole time. Especially coming up on that hand. She dyed everything in that area red.
That's kind of where we're at so far. It's kind of all we've really been told. Very visual game. Not a single word is uttered in this game. I'm going to not spoil stuff. If you haven't picked up on that yet. So as it comes through, you will, uh, you know, I'll talk about it when it happens, not before. I have these stars with me, but it wants two dots. I played this game, I don't know how long ago. Maybe nine months ago? That's just a rough estimate. Rough estimate, maybe nine months ago. So, and it only took me four or five hours and I was flat hunting. Um, so I'm going to remember some stuff, but I don't think I'm going to remember everything. Yeah, if I'm being real, I, I think I played it the first time when I played it. I played it for negative viewers. Because I either still had shit internet, or I was coming off of shit internet. And I just fired up an indie game with no cam one day, which, you know, never really does numbers, but... We move different now. Wait, what is that? What is over here? That wants even more dots. I'm a little confused. A little confused on that one. Okay, well, if there's a jump here, I'm not making it. Yo, Cooley High! Thank you the five gift subs! Appreciate that! So what am I... Can't go back if I want to. Uh-oh, I'm already stuck. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. I might be able to go into that wall over there. Or further this way. Can I just go this way? Oh, I can just go this way. Oh, okay. Never mind. Unstuck. We're good. Further back on that. I might have just skipped a bunch of stuff. Frankly, I don't care. We move. This game is full of screenshots, man. May I ruin the moment? I'm just going to save it. What a shot, man. Every frame is a wallpaper, man. Tell me about it. Nah, Cooley High, I appreciate the uh, gift subs. We actually hit a huge milestone today. We got over a thousand sub points. And I'm more than happy with that. That's why we're doing it's mini sub a thon, so we're only doing 12 hours. But y'all kicked ass. Y'all kicked ass today. If you're on YouTube, this isn't going to make sense. I did a sub a thon on Twitch, and I actually have the highest sub number I've ever had before. Highest sub kind of ever had, which is a big deal to me. Look at Gris. I might be doing that a lot, sorry. What up, Nate? There's going to be quite a few quite the shots in this game, let me tell you. Nage, can I ask why your name is Nage? Is that a curiosity's sake? If you don't want to tell me or anything, it's fine. I understand. Personal, random, whatever. The only reason I say it is because I'm heavily inclined to call you Nage. Like Nature Boy Ric Flair. Like N A I C H instead. I feel like that rolls off the tongue. Oh shit, this is chaos.
gotcha. So this part is a little interesting. The wind will pick up every now and again, and you better be somewhere safe, or Gris is going to get blown back. There's actually a trophy for making it through this entire section without getting blown away even once. But I think you genuinely have to get blown away right there. I could not have done that any faster if I tried. But then maybe after that point. I don't know. Maybe you can do it. You're just going to be super quick. And I was not super quick. All right, we're going to wait. But yeah, that's what getting blown away looks like. Again, there's a trophy. I had to go back and get it in chapter replay. There's a trophy for going through this whole section without getting blown away. Ooh, am I going to make it? Uh-oh. We're looking at a tight one. Ooh, that was close. Can you die in this game? Uh, yes, actually. There's definitely a spot in this game where you can die. I might have waited too long here. Actually, I don't think it can blow me off when I'm... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm getting blown away. Come on, Gris. Ooh, made it. Ooh, that was a closey. That was a tight one. What are you trying to do plot-wise? We don't really have a plot. As far as we're aware, we're running right. Okay, I need another star. Maybe there's one in here. Well, would you look at that? Plot-wise, we started off on a hand, the hand broke apart, uh, Gris got really sad and fell a really long way, and then we landed, and then Gris got sad again, and we are moving to the right. That is what we know. Later, Bustle. I got out of here way too late. If I get blown this way, though, it's fine. That's the way I'm going anyway. Oh, all of a sudden, it's not fun. Ah! Poor Gris, man. I feel so bad for him. Now we're good, though. It's just been me being slow. I started off at the wrong end. I thought I could keep going right, but I couldn't, so I had to run all the way back across the cave. That's why I was late there. Alright, wind picks up. Yeah, music's phenomenal. I'm going to say this particular area might be my least favorite in the whole game. Um, but it's over with pretty quickly. Alright, now that I have two stars, we can make a little bridge. Might have to watch all night. Lucky for you, Stolen Lamps, this game isn't very long. Like, I'll probably have it beat within two hours. Oh my god! We appear to be schmoving. Okay. There's a collectible right there, and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. Why the hell not? You can only grab that before he hooks up with the side here. Again, not going for all of them, but if they're there, you know, why not? I tried to leave before the wind was done. That was my bad. That was my fault. Another collectible over here, which I can't actually get yet. I had to come in here to be safe anyway, but I can't go up and grab that yet. I might not bother to go back for it. We'll see. By the way, this game is set in chapters, and if I hadn't played the game before, you would see a trophy lineup every time I completed a chapter. But I believe this is the red chapter. It usually goes by color. In fact, I think they all go by color. Okay, and I 
use my two stars to ride this storm out. And become a box! With the square button. So now I think I can go back and get that uh, power up back there. Or the, not the power, it's not a power up, it's actually nothing, but... Can I break this? No, I think it just moves around. Okay, I was waiting for the wind to pick up again, but it looks like it stopped. I'm not gonna bother going back to the left, but that's hey, I'm pretty sure you get the collectible by being a box and going back that way. But now, when the wind picks up, I just become box gris, and I'm immune. No matter how long this horrid windstorm is, there we go, we move. A crying woman. A bunch of crying women. Or the same crying woman multiple times, hard to tell. How much is this game? It's probably $20 or less on PSN right now. It's also on PC. Wendy's, you're a PC guy, right? Okay, I can definitely break that. I'm just going to look around the room first. Mm, that's a point of no return. No, I'm going to go back and break that. Down we go. Yeah, there was stuff to do to the right. There was a collectible to the right. It takes a minute to get, though. Look at that shadow. Ooh, Kakarotu, 11 hours on the dot. Nice. God, what a game. Okay, I went all the way over here and found nothing. Anywho. Apparently, I needed to make more black butterflies by slamming the box down. But I explored a bit first. Oh, they just take me back up. Okay. And out the top of a volcano. This game... Oh, yeah! This game is on iOS and Android. I mean, it's 2D. The art style is insanely pretty, but it's not like this game looks that demanding. It, it looked really difficult to make, to make look like this, for sure. But as far as, like, a gaming platform goes, it doesn't actually seem that demanding. So it makes sense they got this run on iOS and Android. But yeah, this game's also on mobile, so if you want to do that. I highly recommend, if it's intriguing to you at all, put the playthrough down now, buy the game yourself, play it. Play it for yourself, you know what I mean? Um... Shit, what do I do? Oh, up here. If it's not that intriguing to you yet, or you're kind of on the fence, wait one more chapter out. Wait one more chapter. Wait till I get done with Red and go to the next area, and then see if it's for you. Because this is legit. Like, I don't mind this chapter, but this is legitimately my least favorite chapter. This game was made by Devolver. That's a name I haven't seen in a bit. I mean, they literally... They're, was it made by or published by Devolver? Also, Devolver published Fall Guys, Wendy's. You should see that name everywhere, ever. Same company that published this game published uh, Fall Guys, by the way, in case you were curious. They publish a lot of indie stuff, though. Okay. So, there's a trophy for box breaking every single one of those. 
I'm not going to get it because there's a lot of them and I would miss a couple. And I already have the fucking trophy. But just so you know, there's a trophy for that. On the moving crab guy, up we go. There's another one, not going to bother. Baba boy. It's crazy they're too drastically... I mean, look up Devolver's whole published library. Everything they have is different because they publish indie titles. And indie titles cannot afford the luxury, unless they're like trying to be a ripoff. They typically can't afford the luxury of being the same. Okay, I need another star. I need two more stars, but where do I get them? Uh-oh, I'm gonna be in trouble. Are you gonna make me go back? Oh no, I have two. I needed three for that other one. Okay, we can go left first. I was getting a little worried. And again, keep in mind, I don't think Devolver made... They might have made this one. I don't think Devolver made this one. I think Devolver just publishes indie games. Something to always remember, the game company that makes it and the game company that publishes, publishes it are different. Sometimes... Need that. Sometimes... Game companies will make a game and sometimes they'll only publish it. For example, uh, Bethesda... Bethesda makes the Fallout games, right? However, for Fallout New Vegas, they actually let Obsidian make Fallout New Vegas, and Bethesda just published Fallout New Vegas, right? Stuff like that happens. Bandai has games that Bandai makes, and then Bandai has games that Bandai publishes. Uh, do I? I think I tilt this straight up again. But yeah, Devolver in particular is actually going to be... I think the way to go is right, but I'm going to go left. Even if it's just a collectible up here, I'm going to go for it. Devolver in particular is going to be all over the place. But like Bandai, for example, Bandai publishes Dark Souls. They might make Dark Souls, but they publish Dark Souls. I know that. Bandai has worked on Smash Bros. before. Bandai, you know, Xenoverse. Obviously the Dragon Ball stuff, a lot of anime stuff. Yeah, there's a collectible over here. That's what this is. Um, I'm already over here, so I might as well get it, but... Not, ooh, that was close. Not an area you need to go to. You get, there is a secret ending if you get all the collectibles. Uh, I've already gotten all the collectibles. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show off the secret ending in my game, though, but I'll pull up a YouTube video and just show you guys. After we get the uh, main ending. But yeah, for grabbing all the things that I just grabbed, which I've already missed one or two, but grabbing all those things, you get a secret ending, which, like I said, I've already done. FromSoft, yeah, FromSoft makes Dark Souls. Bandai publishes Dark Souls. Bandai publishes the Witcher games? No shit. I didn't know that. Did not know that. Thought, thought that was all CD. Like, see, see, there you go. CD Projekt Red made all the Witcher games. But Bandai publishes them. Even though Bandai does make games. Not that one. But yeah, pretty sure Devolver is just a publisher. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure Devolver is just a publisher. God, this game is something else, man. I think there's a collectible to the right. Don't know if I'll be getting it, but it's there. room at churn and I jumped too early. Shit. I think Bandai only published Witcher 3. I mean, sure, but you get the idea, right? You guys understand what I'm talking about. Uh, Devolver, it's not like Devolver is making a wide array of games. They're publishing indie games, and most indie games are vastly different from any other indie game you're going to find. Hmm. 
Hmm. That is actually a star. I need that. Looks like getting on this crab might be my play. Wow, I just ruined his day, man. He was just chilling. Ruined his whole thing. Oh, thanks, man. I fucked your shit up, so you did me a favor. Nice. Devolver must have a good eye for games. So, normally I would say not really, because they're just picking up indie games that look good. And, like, while there are definitely a lot of crapper indie games, like, I don't know. I guess you could tell. You know what? You're kind of right. They do have a good eye for games. There's really not another way to say that. It's not like they haven't published bad games before, but they just publish so many indie games. Probably because it's cheap. But uh, apparently no one else... Apparently Fall Guys went to ten different developers. And I promise you, nine of them were bigger than Devolver Digital. Because Devolver Digital just does indie stuff. And Devolver was the one that took them. Or at least Devolver was the one that gave them the best deal. So... They definitely hit the fucking marker with Fall Guys. Ah! They're back. Oh, I need that one. How do I get... Hmm... I need that star, though. Where did I come from, and what is the play here? My controller vibrates when I'm close to the star. Oh, it's not that. Oh, it's this. This is the play here. Hold up. That's the play. Now I gotta move. Now I gotta move. It's gonna leave me behind. Ah, when I am thick, Gris. There we go. Star for me. Good shit. Yeah, Gris actually gains mass when she becomes a box. I am heavier. Okay, and now I need up there. So now, we actually have to slam this whole thing back down. And then I have to race it to the top to where I can make that jump. Where the top two aligned right there. Pretty sure that's how this works. And then that'll allow me to go up into the left. I don't know if I need to do that or if I'm doing this for collectible. But either way, we're already here. We're already committed. Alright, I need this jump right here. Got it. Whew, tight one. Real tight one there. Oh, yep, it was a collectible. That's fine. Okay, now I think I just go back to the right. Seems like party games during the last nine months have been hitting huge. I mean, eh, with, you know what, with COVID, that's not the most shocking thing in the world. That's not just streamers anymore, right? That's like a lot of people looking for more games to play with their friends. I get up there. There we go. Well, would you look at that? You hear a tinkle, like the little twinkle noise? As she steps on the stars? Nice touch. A lot of nice touches in this game.
All right, Gris isn't big enough to knock it knock it down. First time that hasn't locked when I tried it immediately. Another screenshot. You think that was a spot to screenshot? I think I fucked it up. We're definitely in an area that looks like screenshot territory. Oh, okay. Didn't think I was running up this. Ah, still not enough. I needed to go further. I needed to go higher. Yeah, we're definitely going to be live longer than 12 hours. Um, if you guys are on YouTube, I've been streaming. I streamed for 11, like 11 hours before I started this game. And I knew this game would put me over the 12 hour mark, which is what I'm shooting for because of the subathon thing today. Baba boy! There we go. Oh, we're flying. We're going up. I thought the sky was going down. We're going up. What a world. But, uh, yeah. We're definitely going to be live longer than 12 hours. Because I'm not beating this game in the next 45 minutes. I'm in chapter, essentially, 2 out of, like, 5 or 6, I think. I do believe we just finished chapter red, or we're damn near close to it. You'll know when we finish the chapter. We haven't quite finished it yet, but we're close. Alright, really don't want to fall here. It's like I would die if I did that. Oh, this is the hand that we started off in. Might be fading out of red here, boys. Oh, this looks like the same area I was at in the white area, but I couldn't progress. But now there's a tree here. Yeah, this actually does look like the same spot. I didn't catch that in my first playthrough at all. That this is the essentially the exact same location, but now a tree's grown, so I can I can get further than I could before. I have gained a tree. I do believe, I might be wrong, I do believe the stars I just look at mark the end of the chapter. So I believe chapter red's over, and now we're on, uh-oh. Now we're on running for our fucking lives, hello? Don't like this. Black butterflies are out to get me.
Hope this is the right way. All right, new zone. I'm going to turn on my air conditioner. One sec. And now we move. That chapter really isn't bad at all. I don't like that, like, once you've played it once, waiting on the wind is kind of annoying in chapter red, but now we're out of chapter red. Which, like I said, not a bad chapter, but my least favorite. I don't remember, we can actually look up the order real quick. Uh, red, green, all right, we're in green right now. Red, green, yellow. I hope none of those had spoilers on them. They shouldn't have. I shouldn't break her legs. Look. You don't play this game for its realism, all right? The trees are moving, for God's sakes. Oh, my God. Let's go up here. Yeah, fine. I don't need to jump that. Oh, I kind of do. Never mind. I thought that rock was in the background. God, even the trees going away are so pretty. I think the theme slowly grows. Because now this is the first time we're hearing that little like piano in the background. That dun dun dun. I think this I think it's the same theme throughout the whole game. I think it just slowly gets stuff added to it. The piano is also really fitting for this forest. I mean, not dead, but y'all get it. Y'all get the idea. It looks so cool the way they morph, though. Whoop. I greeted out. Ooh, and it paid off. Greeted out twice. Worked out both times. Sick. The violin. Piano and violin are top two right top two instruments. You're kind of spitting. I'm pretty sure I could have gone back to the right and find a collectible, but again, not a collectible run. Oh, hey, little fella. Join that square apple there. So this guy follows you for a little while. There's quite a few apples you can feed him, and there is a trophy for feeding him every possible apple. But you don't have to. And I probably won't. We'll see. You have to feed him a couple of them, but there's a couple you can miss. And if you don't miss them, you get a trophy. Which, y'all already know the drill. Already got it. Not worried about it. Here's one. Alright. While I'm in the neighborhood, we'll get him that other one. There you go, little buddy. <clears throat> I 
another one for you. It's a pigman. Man, now I'm excited for Kenna again. Okay, so I'm stuck at a wall. But, as a favor to me for getting him all those apples. Well, he likes me. He's going to show me his secret path. Thanks, little buddy. Ken is going to be a really good game. I know it's, I think it's also coming to the Epic Store, but that's absolutely the game I'm looking forward to playing most on PS5. Right now. Obviously, Miles Morales is up there. And I think on stream one of these days, in the next couple days, we're going to rewatch the Sony conference. Sony should have a new conference for us, too, coming out soon. All right. He found that apple on his own. I don't really do nothing for that one. Did I need to get him to come up with me? I think I do. Yeah, he jumps when I do. I didn't realize he jumps when I do. Okay. Come on, little pal. Can you get me up this thing? Oh, yeah, he's friends with the trees. Sick. So you actually can miss that apple back there. If you do it right the first time and have him jump with you. Luckily, I am stupid. Naruto, are you converting? All right, he assuredly has another apple down here to grab. Not that it matters. I'm going up top first. I don't need to get him every apple. Not worried about it. Yes, sir. Ooh. Sorry, I almost killed you there, friend. You gotta look out. I'm dangerous. See, there's an apple way up there. Looks like you gotta run him to it from over here. He imitated me for the slam. I don't even know how I got up there. Can I run him back up there? I wasn't paying attention to when he did it. Through this tree? No. Alright, it's gotta be when we go this way. When does he disappear? Oh, he won't do it again. Well, fuck. Alright, so I missed a chance to give him that apple. Honest to God, buy this game. Even if you don't think you're going to play it because you're watching my playthrough, just to support the developers and stuff. There you go, pal. Just for the sake of supporting the devs, because this did win any game of the year 2019, and I hope it gets all the money in the world. Ooh, nice. Double stomp. I like him. What should we name this guy? I kind of want to call him Charlie. Oh no, he's rolling head first. He might have got fucked up. Oh, he took a tumble. You good, man? He's okay. Stream quality dropped for a second? Um, I did drop a couple frames. Alright, he left me. Goodbye, friend. But it wasn't anything bad. I feel like I'm missing. There's got to be more to this chapter. Because part of me feels like green is almost done already. I feel like we're almost done with green already. But green feels like it went by so fast. Alright, gotta grab a couple stars here. Grab a couple stars here. Maybe one over here. As soon as I named Charlie, he left me. Maybe he didn't like the name. Oh, yeah! Okay, I did forget about a section. So, in this section, the trees come and go based on when I jump. Which, honestly, makes for some really fun platforming, in my opinion. You only get one jump, you can't fuck it up. 
Not like me. No, it was just for a second. Oh, wait, no, I dropped more frames again. I might be on a frame drop spree here. I think if I start dropping, unless it gets real bad, I'm just going to tough it out. Yeah, I think this is actually the right way. Yeah. Right here. Got it. One star down. Thirty minutes left. Yeah, but I'm finishing the game. I might hit the twelve hour mark and then quickly cut stream and switch to a different Twitch server. I'm getting to be more and more inclined to believe that it might be the Twitch servers or why I'm dropping frames and not my actual internet after calling my ISP. Okay, didn't I come from here? I think I came from here. I definitely did, but going underneath might solve my other star problem. Mm, nope, I guess not. Hmm. Surely they're both over here, though. I am missing a singular star. No, it might be back that way. I'm a little lost. The least bit confused. We'll figure it out, though. I'm not going 24 hours, Doc Sauce. Knock that off. No, if I ever go 24 hours, it's... Oh, wait. Oh, there's a collectible over there. It's literally going to be I wake up, I start streaming. No real in-between on that one. God, they make you fall. Make you fall without jumping. Alright, I came back for collectible, which, not a big deal. Still don't know where the star is. I think we could pay him enough to go 24. Today, you couldn't. Another time, I probably, I'd probably be willing. Honestly, this 12 hours has been really nice. Um, having 8 hours straight of playing games with your friends helps for sure, but also Among Us zaps the energy out of me, so. Because I fell? Did I, I didn't come over here before, did I? No, I went straight back down. I didn't come over here. No wonder I'm a little... No, wait, no, I did. Ended up right here. Shit, man, what do I do? Uh, hmm. Oh. Well, how about that? How about this? Going on in here? Couple of creepy bug dudes. Yeah, I've done 23 hours before, but like I said, like I went live, I had food in the fridge ready to go for when I needed it. I haven't actually stopped and had a food break. No, I haven't. I've had a food break all 12 hours. Hey, buddy! Charlie! We found Charlie again! He found a star for me. I don't know if pie is the best food to uh, do a 12-hour stream with, Duck Sauce. Good to see you again, Charles. As always. Yeah, apparently the answer was to go back to the right. My dumb ass went to the left again, so... Sorry about that. Stretch this game out a little bit longer than it needed to be.
New power up. Double jump and float. Got a little double jump and float. I think we also got another ability at the same time. But now I can clear this. Oh, there's actually nothing over here. It was just the other way I could have gone. Sure. Have y'all ever sat on one of your nuts? Uh, I could probably count the amount of times I sat on my nuts in one hand. If I could remember all of them, but I don't. I mean, like, I, I think I remember, and I think it's, it's probably less than five. Ever in my life. But, uh, I don't do it very often, so, like, it's hard to recount every time. Also, yes, we did get another ability. And when there's red butterflies like that, I can shoot up into the air. Get myself a nice little jump. I like about this game. How calm and relaxing it is. You know? Not really any, like, it's a collectible. Not really any, like, crazy thing you're looking out for, you know? Nothing, like, attacking you. You just kind of breathe, you know? Just living. We just schmoove a little bit here in our green chapter. Charlothy? Hope we see Charlothy again one day. He was a good little stick thing. Okay, I fucked that up. My fault. The old delayed double jump. Anywho. Oh, I'm going to have to catch it as it comes around. Did I go too early? I went too early. I went too early! Fuck! Should have jumped that. Could have made that. Did I go too late? Nope. Probably a collectible to the right side. Not gonna look. Damn, I missed it. Did I go the wrong way? No. Collectible. Right fucking here, dude. Luckily, I shoot right back up, and we're back to normal. Oh, hold up. Apparently, I needed the double jump for that one. And you're doing keto and fasting at the same time hurts my stomach. I mean, I feel like you'd just be out of energy. Keto and fasting, I feel like you'd be out of energy 24-7. 24-7. Oh my god. I'm glad I got that right the first time. So anyways, like I said, this game has just a, such a calm and peaceful nature to it. All the way around. Like, nothing can hurt me here, you know? I'm just vibing. I'm just vibing. Who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop me? Statue of that woman again. The music. Some calm serenity. 
the watercolor art. This is, this is what it is, right? Like, I'm not wrong on that. It's watercolors. Watercolor art is beautiful. Just an overall calming feeling. You know what? Here, we're okay. We're okay. Nothing can take that away from me. You know? This calm and peaceful nature that the game brings to the table. Hello there, big friendly blackbird. Oh my god, he yelled in my face! Okay, now I'm running from big scary blackbird. Never mind. Good feeling gone. Luckily, I still have the box for him, so fuck his yell. Or her. Not here to judge. Or assume, I should say. A pair of lungs on that one, though. Good lord. Oh, fuck. I was hoping I'd get to shoot out before they caught again. Yeah, you stay down there. Don't follow me. I do not like you. Scare the shit out of me, dude. God. Where's this dumbass bird at? It's like a dove or something. I want to say pigeon. It's kind of like a black dove, I think. Swallow, maybe? Either way. Fuck. No, I think I actually need him to... I think I need him to scream me over there. Ooh, see? A little extra lift. Got me where I needed to go. hear him stomping around with his giant bird feet there he is where are you going now weenie moon monkey thanks for the raid man how is persona oh no i got blown around fuck this is Gris, Indie Game of the Year 2019, fantastic game. Generation, thank you for the two, three. 34 motherfucking months, appreciate you. Appreciate you. We're currently about to finish the second chapter of Gris. Lovely, pretty, beautiful music indie game. Usually calm, but you came in at a pretty intense part. One of the few. This game carries. And uh, screenshots galore in this one, because... Man, is it beautiful. Oh, fuck. The bird's still here. Well, this isn't good. Oh, it doesn't like the bells. I think I hit the bells and it went away. Anyways, uh, guys, welcome. You you caught me on Subathon Day. I've currently been live for 11 hours and 44 minutes. At least hitting the 12-hour mark, but I think I'm going to finish Gris, and Gris will probably take me closer to the 13-hour mark at best. Uh, this game is, yeah, Indie Game of the Year 2019. It's available on PS4, Steam, Android and iOS. I'm liking this so far. This is actually my second playthrough. My first playthrough, I went and got the Platinum. This playthrough, I don't have to worry about all the collectibles or anything like that. Uh, I just worry about taking in the story and getting through it in, you know, quite a bit faster than I did the first time I played it. 
We're just looking at the smooth story flow motion. So I already know I like this game a lot. It is not my first playthrough of it. This bitch? Who told you to come back? Who sent for you? Um. Hmm. I need something to shoot me up there. Oh, right here. Now we're talking. Do it. Okay. I think I actually need him to scream me. Nope. Nope, Al. Hmm. What's the play here? Fuck. Fuck. Alright, we're okay. I need him to ring the bell. I need to make or help him ring the bell. Oh, there we go. He had his super yell. Just had to get close enough. Yeah, anyways, we're doing a big subathon today. Uh, we actually broke quite a big milestone for me. So, in celebration, I'm going at least 12 hours a day. Probably 13 or more. The sternum was leaking, yeah. Almost 3.30 a.m. I started streaming before 4 p.m., man. I ain't done a 12-hour in a long time. Not since Animal Crossing. We hit 12 a time or two when Animal Crossing first came out. We were all over that game. Oh, here's that hand again. All right, and just like that, we dye everything from green to blue. Oh, is this the level I think it is? Are we here already? Ooh, we might be here already. Oh, first of all, this level starts fucking sick. With the trees having water coming off the top like that, and you can run across them. Okay. Telling me I might have gotten a little bit of frame drop once doesn't help a whole lot. If it's, like, a problem, let me know. Might be the best part. That little section's nice, but I think this is a uh, a different section. If blue, blue might be one big section, but then we're really not far from the end. After blue, I don't even remember. I don't. I'm, I honestly don't remember what happens after blue. Blue's a really big one. Blue's a huge chapter. 
Yeah, hippity, that's what I'm thinking. I need to get up there. Perhaps I'll get a new ability over here that will get me up there. Blue is a really big one. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to look. Uh, worry about the. Uh, what's it? Oh, collectibles. Don't have to worry about all the extra collectible stuff. I can just go through and do it. Little bit of want, huh? Oh, I shot myself this way. Really expected to go straight up. That messed me a little bit, not gonna lie. Wait! Oh, yeah, no, I do remember the last chapter. The last chapter is also sick. Took me until just now to remember it, but I do remember the last chapter now. I like my girl Gris here, but she is a slow swimmer. Oh, we're back here again. We're back here again. See how our stars are doing. A little further up top. Let's see how high we can climb this thing now. Saw these over here, couldn't resist. Can't go anywhere with it, though. Okay, I have three. All right, looks like we're heading to the right. I think that might be the way out of here. This is just an indie game, but it's one of the best games I've played. There's a lot of people out there who almost exclusively play indie games because indie games are their favorite kinds. But, I mean, when they're making games like this, you can't really argue a whole lot. Shit. You know what? I think I needed to uh, shoot up that path, but then when I did, I needed to shoot to the right sea turtle. I know where I am. I don't think it's where I'm supposed to be, but I know where I am. Nope, this is right. Well, shit. Glad I went this way. Pretty convinced it was the other direction for a while. Alright, people, welcome to blue. I think that star transition at the top is usually when it cuts over. So we've done chapter red and chapter green. I want a chapter blue. Let him have it. Down we go. Look at that water on the ceiling. A classic. A real classic.
Y'all, we're only five minutes away from the, the old 12-hour mark. Again, Animal Crossing aside, don't remember the last time I did a 12-hour stream. Not that it's that big a milestone. I mean, I used to do... Oh, can I not get up there? Oh, yeah, I have a double jump, duh. I used to do 18 hours on a whim sometimes. This isn't, like, the craziest thing I've ever done. For anyone on YouTube wondering, I did one 23-hour stream once. And I cut it at 23 hours because I didn't really care about hitting the 24-hour milestone. And my, I was done being entertaining. The subathon I was doing was over. If I had gone, I could have gone another hour. It wouldn't have been that big a deal, but it just would have been me being mad and boring for another hour. So, like, I didn't bother with it. Whoop. But that's the longest I've ever been done. Uh, aside from that, I've done a couple 18-plus hour streams. And quite a few 12-plus hour streams, this being one of them. Look at this place, man. Look at this place, man. Oh, yeah. Also, when The Last of Us 2 came out, if you're watching that on YouTube, just know that The Last of Us 2, I did that in two 13 and a half hour streams. Kind of forgot about those. The Last of Us 2 was even more recent than Animal Crossing. So, yeah, I was busting out 12 hour streams. I, not like crazy. It was just two back to back 13 and a half hour streams. That was, yeah, that was way more recent than Animal Crossing. Look at the environment here. So your only hint right there is that when you jump on this one, red comes off of it when you land. That's your only hint to uh, block that one. I think it's just a collectible up here. I don't think they actually made that like a main... Yeah. They wouldn't have made that one a main way to get through. A lot of people wouldn't have found that. bring up the point again. Love my girl Gris, but she is a slow swimmer. Just checking over there, seeing if there was anything. So chill. Yeah, 85% of this game is like the definition of chill. Chill, relax, put your feet up. That's why this is one of the games I picked to uh, get me through a 24-hour stream if I was going to do it. Which it didn't wind up happening that way. Okay, so I think what I need to do here is launch myself over the top and then box. So that way Gris gets low enough that I can go underneath. I didn't make it. Oh, no, I didn't make it. thought I did that pretty well, too. Right, let's try that again. Up and over, get the double jump. Hold right. I didn't make it again. Oh, I barely made it. All right, we'll count that. We do take those. Hmm. All right. Only two directions to go, which is nice. Go left, grab a star. Go right, grab a star, probably. Oh, yeah, the music in this game is phenomenal. Okay. Oh, wait, I get it. I can't land on regular Gris, or regular Ice Gris. But if I make a block Gris, now we're talking... They really want me to. I think I have to time that right.
Oh no, it doesn't work. Fuck. Well, what, what do they want me to do? Well, I don't get high enough to do that. I don't remember how to get past this part, TBH. If I'm not lying, I too do not remember how to get past this part. She breaks if she's in air. Unless I gain something, unless I go to the left side first. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Later, creator. Can't believe that fucking worked. Anyway. Just moving. Yeah, nobody's talking because most of my viewers are leftover viewers from massive raids I've got from a bunch of homies tonight. Um, also, it's 4 a.m. Most of my audience is based in the U.S., which means most people here are either already asleep or thinking about it. And a lot of people are just relaxed. There's not a whole lot to comment on the gameplay other than how pretty it is, which it is insanely pretty. I can jump off that? I think that would be one I can jump off of. Not a whole lot to comment on on the gameplay other than how pretty it is, which we know. And other than that, it's just a very relaxed, chill vibe tonight. What do they want? Am I an omnipotent being that doesn't need sleep? No, I'm just on Turbo Myth. That breaks it though, right? Oh, wait. I had it. Hold on, we're good. I think. I think one of these gets me there. Hey, Rumple, thanks for the bits. There we go. Yeah, it was the double ice block on both ends, but now we have both stars. Let me check and see what old Crease asked here. How you doing, Smart Martini? Chris says, Chad, is The Last of Us 2 worth it even though I know what happens? Yeah, I would say it's extra worth it if you know what happens. Because a lot of people's distaste for it is that the game surprised them in a way that they did not like. But now you know what the slot... Now you know what the, uh... Surprises. And if you're chill with that, like, yeah, for the love of God, play it. Especially if you haven't played the first game. Play the first game first. Not because it's better or worse. Last of Us 2, gameplay-wise, is probably significantly better than The Last of Us 1. But, uh... Last of Us 1 still a fucking masterpiece. Oh, hey, look, we learned how to swim, by the way, when we got those stars. Last of Us 1 still a masterpiece. So, you might as well play that one. Look at the fish. Oh, there's a big-ass fish back there. You see that? Have it because PS Plus gave it away? Yeah, definitely play that first. Legitimately no good reason in the world not to play Last of Us 1 first if you haven't yet. What up, Jaren? How you doing? Okay. I have two of five stars. So let's go collect the last of these.
I do believe he always runs from me. So, what if I scare him here? Turn back around. Catch him on the other side. Does this work? Oh, fucking... It does if you don't miss him. Yeah, we're about a chapter and a half short of beating it, the Orion. I do believe I'm pretty close to being done. I'm like five, I'm like ten minutes away from being done with blue, uh, and then we're only one chapter away. Yeah, an hour's not inaccurate. Uh, Chris, I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely don't play games with subs very often. Okay, that's a collectible, and I don't care about it. But, there is something to the right over here. The story of The Last of Us 2 is just kind of weak. Yeah, you're really weird for thinking that. The story of The Last of Us 2 was so much more powerful than the story of The Last of Us 1. Case in point by how heavily people were affected by it. Nobody came into The Last of Us 2 and was just like, eh, that was whatever. Okay. I remember getting stuck here for a second. I think the path is actually up top. Yeah. Nothing indicates you can really get through right there. Kind of got to figure it out on your own, but then. Yeah, you can get through up top. Come through here, grab that, and out the bottom. But people, the Last of Us 2 moved people, 100,000%. You either came out of that and you went, wow, that was fucking great, or you came out of that and you were super, super mad for the rest of your life. But either way, pretending like it didn't tell a powerful story is just blatant lying. Some review I watched, so they should have organized the events better. Uh, it... Went unique in its storytelling. It told two halves of a story, not simultaneously. It told one half, started over. It's not the first game or piece of media to ever do it, by any means. It's just not the common way to tell it. So it looked like they wanted more of the same and didn't get it. Yeah, that's another way to put it, the way Natsu said it. One way or another, you're changed after that game. I don't know what collecting these guys does for me. Oh, apparently nothing. Do I lose him when I... Oh, I get a free leap! Oh, shit, okay. I can carry him out into the fucking... Oh, this is badass. Right into the water. Oh, that's so sick. I forgot about this part. Yeah, love it or hate it, you're changed after The Last of Us 2. It will get you one way or another. Surely they don't grow back, right? Okay, I want to point out Wendy's. This is a classic Wendy's maneuver here. Just said that the story was strong but weak. I'm going to leave it at that. Anywho. Oh, yeah, I can go the other way. Weak in what way? Literally, the only thing he means by weak is that he didn't like it. It's not that it wasn't powerful, it's not that it wasn't insanely moving, it's not that it wasn't defining in any way, shape, or form. It's just he was unhappy. Like, the thing he wanted to happen didn't happen. And he's upset. Oh, if there's no The Last of Us 3, uh, I'd be fine with The Last of Us, with no The Last of Us 3. I probably wouldn't complain about it, but I'd be fine if it didn't exist. So, spoiler alert for Last of Us 2. I haven't talked spoilers yet, and I don't think chat should talk spoilers, mainly because my The Last of Us 2 playthrough isn't done getting uploaded to YouTube yet. Um, all that we really know is that the ending's powerful. That's all, that's all I've really said is that the ending's powerful. You're either going to love it or hate it. It's going to move you one way or another. Alright, let me yoink. Wait, give me those. Ooh, fuck. Alright, we're okay. Okay. 
it back in. Ah, oh, I love this section, man. Blue is a good ass chapter. It's long, but it's a good ass chapter. Okay, I don't know if that's all the stars I need or if I'm one short right now. Oh, you were prepping, Chris. Yeah. Um, the reason I, I say don't is because Autumn Fox in chat just said he's still watching. And also... By the way, we made a turtle. Wait, come back, turtle. Autumn Fox just said in chat he's still watching. And also, this is going to go up on YouTube probably before my The Last of Us 2 playthrough gets finished. And if we're going off people who only watch on YouTube, I don't want to spoil them. Hello, turtle buddy. Would I remove the last hour? No. No. The only people I saw complain about the last hour super heavy were like streamers who were on their set. Streamers or people who were playing at hardcore who were on their 17th hour of playing the game. Because they thought it was going to be over a few times. But it's like if you weren't sitting down for a fucking 24 hour marathon session and you would just, you know, booted the game up and ended it in your third or fourth hour like if you just not played consistently for a million years because you were obviously feeling something to keep playing it like that then you wouldn't be upset that it looks like it's going to end three times this part's really crucial by the way I'm actually going to shut up for this part and this part is really nice of the game What do I do here? Oh, I can swim with the waterfall. All right, here we go. Love this part right here. That part's so cool. Nah. So now we're running from an eel. There's a tell when he's about to clamp you. He opens his mouth, and you don't want to push X then. But he'll open his mouth slightly wider. Right there. I did a little earlier. You get a trophy for not getting blown away by him either when he goes to bite you. I messed it up already. A couple times. 
But it's fine, I already have the trophy. This game worth it? 110%, yeah. It's gotta be 20 bucks or less anywhere you're gonna buy it. You can play it on your phone for God's sakes. Though I would recommend PS4, it looks great here. And I'm assuming it runs fine on Steam too. I'm gonna guess Steam didn't get a bad port. It probably wouldn't have won any game of the year. If Steam got a bad port. There's too many PC nerds who would say that a, a game that gets a bad Steam port doesn't deserve a life. Oop, I am alone. The lights? There's nothing wrong with playing games on PC. I'm simply saying there's a lot of games out there that get a bad rep because they're made for PS4 or something and then later ported to PC. And the PC port's kind of shitty because it's sort of a tacked on thing. Like just, you know, please stop bugging us about putting this game on PC, you PC dorks. And then the port might be like buggy in some areas or lag or they're not going to get 120 frames per second 4K everywhere they go. Because the game's not made for PC, it's made for PlayStation and ported over. And then... They'll throw a fit and the reviews will get tanked a little bit. It's something that's... It's not an uncommon practice for bad PC ports to get tanked reviews on good games just because uh, the PC fan base is not happy with their product. They paid like three grand or whatever they did for their computer to feel better than all the other gamers, quote unquote. And then when they... Oh my god! Sorry, I'm focusing. Please do not eat me, Mr. Eel. What a soundtrack. Yeah, Rumpel, that gets me every time, too. Back in the ice? Oh, we're on the top end now. Nice. Thank you for the bits, Rumpel. I don't want to make you remember because it scared the crap out of me. I, yeah, I mean, it gets me every time. I remember that section better, uh, Hipty, because I actually had to do that section like four or five times in chapter replay. Because the I was trying to get the trophy. I think that was the last trophy I got. Was the trophy you get for not getting bit by the uh, the trophy you get for not getting bit by the thing. I also remember getting stuck here for a fucking minute. No, nah, don't like the way that. Looks. We're gonna get a good one. We're gonna get a good one of that. That had to be a good one. Damn it, I was late. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get a good one, damn it. I'll take it. Oh, this soundtrack reminds me of something else.
Nah, this definitely reminds me of another soundtrack that already exists. Maybe another video game? Mm-hmm. 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 Ah, man, I, it's gonna bug me. I don't remember what it is now. That, but that little riff back there, like, that really... Mm, I get flashbacks to something else. I don't remember what it is, though. I think it only lights up when I'm, like, under it or something. It's a game, I'm pretty sure. Or that noise happened. Death Stranding? No. Oh my god, it's gonna bug the fuck out of me. And I haven't played Evil Within. Please light up. Please light up, Mr. Bush. It's like a menu. Maybe... Surely it's not COD Zombies. Am I just stuck here? Hello? Oh, hello. Fair enough. Maybe the COD Zombies... Like a COD Zombies... No, maybe... Ah, fuck. It's gonna bother the hell out of me. But it's like... It's that exact same riff. It's that over and over again, man. Bothering the shit out of me. That I'm not going to remember what that is. I can feel that I'm not going to remember what that is. Also, this section's badass. Hey, Danik, how you doing? Final Fantasy? I don't think so. I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't remember it this well if it was Final Fantasy. Oh, hey, we're back here. Uh, that more or less means we're done with Chapter Blue, I think. I think we got one chapter left in the game, and then we're done. And by the way, we are over 12 hours by a bit. 12 hours, 22 minutes. Might be done before 13 hours. The last chapter is also a big one, if I remember. It's not Goku going Master Ultra Instinct. It's not that. Yeah, Danica, uh, Danica we're doing a subathon today, and... I promised if we hit the goal, we'd go 12 hours, and we smashed the ever-loving hell out of that goal. So we are past 12 hours now. But not for much longer, as soon as I finish this game, which is within the hour. I am going to call it a night. I am exhausted. I can't think of a situation where, where that music plays in zombies, though, in COD Zombies. No! You know what it is? Oh my god, it hit me. And it hit me extra because I was just watching it. Oh my god. You know what it is? That right there, that line right th Oh my god, I'm so glad I remember that. I was just watching that with Toaster. I wouldn't have got it. I was just watching Dexter with Toasty yesterday. I would not have remembered that. Holy shit, I'm so glad I got to the bottom of that. Because I knew it sounded familiar. That was almost to the T, the Dexter outro. That was like verbatim the Dexter outro right here. 
I'm not saying Gris ripped off Dexter. It's just, man, did that remind me the fuck out of Dexter. Whew. Anyway, I feel so much better. I hope that doesn't get my VOD on YouTube muted, but, like, whatever. I am obscenely happy I got that one. I got to the bottom of that one. Uh, Chris, you're being pretty weird right now, man. How far in a Dexter are you? I have watched... Oh, hold up. Got me a light friend. I have watched Dexter through Season 5 twice. Um, Toasty is starting his first... I haven't... For some reason, I never went past Season 5. I didn't hate Season 5. Everyone says it gets bad after Season 4, but I didn't hate Season 5. I just never kept watching. Uh, Toasty is watching right now, and he is in Season 4. And I pop in, even though I just finished my rewatch like six months ago, if I'm not doing nothing, I'll pop in with Toasty and watch him every now and again. But, like, I remember all the episodes, so I'm just kind of watching it with him and we're talking. I like hearing his thoughts on it and stuff. Um... Yeah, I've been playing, or I've been watching with my buddy Toasty off and on. But yeah, that's the. Oh, I'm so glad I remember that. That was bothering the crap out of me. Now, oh, what do we have here? Ooh. Oh, we're at the final level. Yeah, we're here. This is the last chapter. We're in it. It grows a lot more from this. Oh, I gotta get here before it gets dark. If you don't get there before it gets dark, your platform goes away. I have not watched or read ReZero anything, no. If you haven't watched Dexter, though, I would say watch it. I'm pretty sure Toasty would co-sign it, too. At least what he's watched so far. Look at this. Look at this place, man. Look at this game. Look at this game. Oh, I have an extra jump. Might as well use it. You know what? It's still kind of blue out here. I don't know if I'm still in chapter blue or not. It did the stars on top, didn't it? Oh, maybe it didn't yet. Oh, shit. I actually don't know if I'm still in blue or not. Thank you, Rumple. Fuck that up. Hold on. Get a load of the glass palace. Ooh, can't quite get up there. Doesn't look like. Took him 100 bits. You got him there, Naruto. Mm, what do I do? What is the play from up there? They clearly want me to go up here. Maybe I just go back. Or I follow this guy. Yep, should have grabbed this guy right away. Duh. I knew better. Yep, there we go. Now we're talking. Ooh, Chris came back, got rumpled. Thank you, Chris. Oh, now I need him to leave. Or not. I'll just keep I'll just keep doing this. We'll, we'll just go this way.
Am I over here? What the hell do I do? I need to get those bird things. I needed to get them back there. And then take them to the left with me. These, uh, the red butterflies. I kind of got that, but I don't know how to get them. Oh, wait, can I get them from here and then just walk back? No. No, they chill there. Oh, no, I'm dumb. I actually did too well. No, I didn't. I'm not dumb. Fuck. I'm dumb. I am a wee bit stuck. Hold on. This is the last hurdle, boys. We're going to get there. I thought I'll just go underneath it. I did the wrong thing, but I didn't. I did the right thing. I just don't know what I'm doing. Could have stayed on there, stayed on here. That was a dumb fucking idea. Stomp to make the fireflies go away? Okay. All right, so I have to stomp, pull up, shoot. All right, there we go. Thank you, Twitch chat. Fuck! It didn't work! Oh, wait. It did work. I had to do it again. Finally! Whew! The rock has come back. Two stars. Oh, man, we really are about done. We really are about done with this game. Yep, we are close to the end. We are in the last chapter. Oh, that was a very weak jump, Briss. There we go, much better. We just climb in. Oh my god. Alright. I'm missing a lot of collectibles in this stage, by the way, but uh That's fine. Y'all know how I work. You just started this game today. Oh, Zanzan, you didn't beat it? I'm on the last level. You might want to tune out or I'm gonna spoil you on how to get stuff. I don't like telling viewers they need to leave my stream, right? Unless they're being annoying and you're not being annoying, but uh just so I don't give too much away, because the game's not very big. I don't know how far I am, but I can just lurk to avoid any spoilers. Well, I'm telling you, I'm on the last chapter of the game. But I got you. I'm about to beat this thing. Oh, I went on the wrong side. No, I didn't. Whew, that was close. I thought I did, but I didn't. Look at that. Look at the art. Look at the art. Look at the gameplay. Star. All right, one of two. Now we get the one on the left side. 
Ooh, Rumpel came back with a vengeance. Got Chris. Got Chris out of here. By the way, for this week... Man, we got mad bits. Got mad gift subs. That's a screenshot. We'll find at least one more good screenshot when it's all over with. Believe you me. I do believe in the case of the yawns. We're definitely not, like, just about done. After I get these two stars, there's a whole nother section. Whole other section. Kind of following the flowers right now. It's raining outside. I wonder why it cooled off so much. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back there again. Uh, Sam C. Some Stevie. Ooh, this shot's a dope one. Kinda, eh, I don't know if it's screenshot worthy. Okay, well now it's way cooler because I'm upside down. Still, gonna, still not going to do it, though. We can do better. Is it raining in America? Well, it's safe to say it's almost always raining somewhere in America. America's real big. But uh, in Central America right now, yeah, I think it's raining. It's also safe to say, at any given time, it's not raining in California. Because if it did, the fires would go out. A little of this. A little of that. A little of this again. Did I get the other star? I don't know if I did. Gotta line this one up. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, I, I think I did it too good. I think I did that section too good right there. Yeah, it's probably never raining in California, and it's probably always raining in Washington. And they're not that far away from each other. Yeah, I believe I did that jump a little too well. I think they want me to use that to get up there. Fuck. Alright, I gotta get this jump. Oh, see, you can't actually jump too far. Or you can't do it too good. Because you will cross over and come back. But I don't think I can hang on to him if I land. So maybe this is actually just a tight, tight ass jump. Yeah, they just even if I don't use them, they disappear. So I need to uh, team rocket blast off. Oh, I need to land on that. Okay, never mind. I see where I'm fucking up. I see it. I see it. I see it. Pulling on that. Finishing this game at least. Greedy, how you doing? Yeah, so I need to line up with where that thing is, but the problem is that I can't see where that thing is. On the right, the blue, I need to shoot myself into that is the big issue here, I think. It's kind of hard. Kind of difficult. Anywho. Ba 
Baba Boy. All right, star number two. Okay, so we just learned how to sing. And if you didn't notice, she was trying to do that at the end of the blue chapter when she got, she couldn't do it, and then the eel came out. But unfortunately for her, the old eel came out. Here's her screenshot. Holy shit. But now she's picked it up. Making our way uptown. Doing stuff. Okay, I see that, but I'm gonna go down here. Ugh, I want the screen. I wanna stand right in the middle, get the screenshot. Right here? I like that one. Okay, one, two, three, four stars I need, it looks like. We gotta venture back out, but now I have the ability to sing. Which means I can change out the way a lot of this stuff looks. Hey, what up, Flabby? Strange, how you guys doing? the ability to do stuff I never could before. What is this, I wonder? Ah, yes. Of course. Why wouldn't I have made this? Why wouldn't me singing have made this? this pink spider technology thing that is guided by whatever direction I so choose. Good news is if I fall, spider bro looks like he's got me. Oh, got whatever that was. Oh, is that might have been a star, actually. Okay, did I do this already? Surely they wouldn't let me replay this section. No, I did not do this part. I would have remembered. Not over here, at least. Oop, guess I'm jumping off this. I thought they would come with me for some reason. I know that's not how it works when I'm on land. Alright, and over here. And launch back. 
I might have grabbed another. No, I didn't grab another star. play here. Can I actually reach that? I can and I have. And it flies. Huh. Up we go. And it flies. It does move. Uh, what? Oh, I gotta jump off this. I gotta hurry. There we go. Now we're talking. A little of this. A little of that. A little of the knick-knack patty whack. Huh. Huh. Tight squeeze there. One of the four stars has been acquired. Not gonna lie, I know where two of them are. I don't know where the other two are. That'd be kind of weird. There's a trophy. See this flamingo to the left? There's a trophy for singing all of them into peacocking. Like that. Not gonna be getting all of it, but you know. Y'all know how it goes. I remember it took me forever to find all of them when I was doing this for the Platinum. I was probably in this level for like an hour. Just trying to do all the stuff I needed for trophies the first time. There's another eh, whole group of flamingos here I could sing out, but... Not too concerned. Later, Wendy's. Okay, I believe I only have one of four stars. I might be leaving a star on the right side, and I'm not sure. I also might have two of four stars and just not realize it. I don't know yet. I'll know when we get back from this side. Over here, we get to play with lights. Man, this is going to take me... I'm going to be alive for 13 hours before I beat this game. Nothing wrong with that. Y'all deserve it. All the fucking love we got today. Just, uh... Didn't expect to, that's all. Well, would you look at that. Lovely running water. The prom is tomorrow. But I can keep going left here, so why not? Oh, never mind. No, I can't. I did get two over there. Okay. Like, I know where the last one was because it was really obvious, but I might have spaced out when I got the first one or just forgot. Do one of these with a little jumpsy poo. Oh, there's one. Yeah, you're right. I probably did pick up one. Unless I just completely whiffed and missed on it, which would be really bad. Then I have to go back over there and look around for it, and that doesn't sound like fun. Oop, let me go down here. How many stars do you have right now? I think I have three. 
either have two or three, but I think I have three. And the fourth one's going to be at the end of this path. Is this fading on me? Surely not. Surely this isn't fading on me right now. No, no way. Can't be. Would have been gone. Oh my god, it's fading on me. No, it can't be. Oh my god, it's fading on me. It is. 110% is. That was another screenshot right there, too. That would have been a good one. That might have been a star when you got it. Yeah, you're right. Because I would have thought the same thing coming across this one if I wasn't paying more attention to the star I just got. I can't get up there from here. Let's see if this works. Hope this works. Oh, it just barely doesn't reach. That's okay. I have these. Oh, shit. Alright, up here. A little of this. Little of this shit. Uh, fuck. Kind of my game plan here. Get it. Get the flower. Oh no. Um, can I make this? I cannot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? Might be what in trouble looks like. Yeah! And tell me if I stand on the very, very edge here. Okay, I do get that flower. But the numbers, Mason, what do they mean? I can't actually leave this place. Sing to the right. Oh my god, there's another flower there I missed. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't see that little guy over there. Whew. That makes everything a lot easier. Yeah. I am simply dumb. Forgive me, I've been streaming for 13 hours. I've been awake for a lot longer. Fuck. Fucked that up. Every bit of it. Don't go. Man, whatever. But anywho, am I excited about Black Ops Cold War? Not really. I haven't bought a Black Ops since Black Ops 4, and even then I only bought it for a Blackout, and I didn't play it that much. I just... Ooh, look at this. I'm not going to use this one, but I'm going to take it anyway. It should be star number four. I think star number four means I might be done with the game. I think we might have just beat the game. I don't actually have to listen to her sing that long. Just till the circle gets to wherever I want it to go. I just like hearing her sing.
Another flamingo up there. Okay, let's hope I picked up all four, because if not, I gotta go search on the right, see what I missed. What a game. I mean, yeah, they're calling back to old CODs that were good, but that doesn't mean that their last several CODs that they've actually made have been good. You know what I mean? I got all four! Oh, sick. I might be done. I think I beat the game. That's not forgetting about a section. So we're on that palace that has been reoccurring at the end of uh, every chapter right now. And since we went through every chapter and we got all the stars, we have now found ourselves a staircase that leads up. But we might not be done just yet. Forgot about this part, not gonna lie. A little bit of platform in here. Yeah. You notice we're back in Chapter White or whatever. I don't think it actually was called Chapter White, but it is a uh, beginning area of the game. Ooh, didn't think I could make that jump, not gonna lie.
We didn't know how to double jump the first time we were here. Oh, shit. Or get our jump eaten. What up, Brian? Okay. Sorry, I'm stretching. And now my back hurts. Uh, that was Grist. I'm going to show you guys the uh, 
secret ending real quick or the secret cutscene you get for collecting all the stuff. Uh, I have collected all the stuff. I didn't know if running to the spot would trigger it or not, though. But I'm going to pull it up for you guys real fast, and then we're going to talk about the ending and what Gris is. And then we'll be done. I'm actually going to mute the soundtrack real quick while I do that. What am I at right now? It is at 54. Okay. This is the secret ending of the secret cutscene. Kind of like a section under the fi final level, and it only triggers if you've collected everything. But, uh, yeah, we did get this when I played through it the first time. Okay, so, let me turn this back on. Soundtrack's too good. So basically, what happened? Well, let me tell you. The trophy list is a huge indicator, and none of them were popping up because I already had the platinum. But, uh, red, denial, green, anger, uh, blue, bargaining, yellow, depression, and the fifth stage, uh, being acceptance. The stone statue, uh, the woman, was Gris's mom. She died. That was the beginning, I guess this is all one big metaphor, essentially. But, uh, that's the beginning of the game, the statue crumbling, Gris falling, and Gris going through all the stages of uh, dealing with death. And then in, in the end, you know, she kind of manages to get past it and accept it and all that. And that's why she's able to build the statue back up and then say goodbye and then leave it behind. Grief wasn't in there, I think. I mean, isn't that the name? Isn't her being Gris? Did she bring her mom back to life? No, I think that's a flashback to give away that that was her mom. Because, like, you can kind of pin it together mostly. I mean, all it really is is statues of a woman, a girl being sad, and then, you know, you see her crying and a kiss at the end. And the secret cutscene really just kind of confirms 110% that it was her mom. Yeah, those are the stages of grief. That's why grief wasn't in there. That makes sense. But that was Gris. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. If you're on YouTube, I don't think you're coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, Thunder Shout, Peace Slate. I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all be good. And uh, if you're on Twitch, hey, it's been a minute. That's not what I'm looking at. I'm gonna get those out of here. We had a really good day today. We had a really good day today. We broke a thousand sub points. We're actually at a thousand twenty right now. That'll start decaying tomorrow. And you know what? I don't care. Never thought I'd get that high. Never thought I'd get that high. We are at 13 hours and 9 minutes, though we didn't break the 12-hour mark. We broke the 13-hour mark. And I was going to no-host it, and I think I'm going to no-host it. Oh, Alvin's playing Among Us with his real friends. I called him Alvin. But Alvin's playing Among Us with his real friends. I'm the least bit upset, but Balvin's playing Among Us with his real friends. I'm going to host Balvin. Y'all be good. Thunder shit out. Peace late. I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all take it easy. I am exhausted. Y'all be good. See you later.
Be right back. I was going to start 